There are two more candidates in the presidential race, but it's one who is not in the race, at least yet, who raised eyebrows when he accidentally made a slip in a speech last night. Our Ed O'Keefe reports. The man many Democrats are waiting for sure sounded like a presidential candidate Saturday night. I have the most progressive record of anybody running for the United if anybody who would run. Former Vice President Joe Biden is expected to make it official next month. That's why I'm running for president, and it's why I'm asking you for your support. New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand today became the 14th Democrat to officially launch a presidential bid, even though she's been basically campaigning for the job for eight weeks. Gillibrand you? plans to formally kick off her campaign next you? Sunday outside Trump Tower in New York. Other candidates traveled to early primary states this weekend hoping to build support. That we have common pain all over this country, but we've lost our sense of common purpose. And Beto O'Rourke wrapped up a three-day tour of Iowa that launched his campaign. This is my first time to ever visit Iowa. O'Rourke narrowly lost a U.S. Senate bid in Texas last year, and presidential buzz has been building ever since. His rollout was treated like a major media event. He told Vanity Fair magazine for a cover story, I'm just born to be in it. And he sat for his first in-depth interview as a candidate with CBS This Morning co-host Gail King. Do you consider yourself more moderate or more progressive? Yeah, you know, if, if I think about a term like progressive, I want to make sure that everybody has a chance, um, that our democracy fully reflects the genius of this country, that we make the investments in one another, and that's universal guaranteed high quality health care. It's a living wage for everyone who works. It's supporting those who are looking for jobs. So if, if that's progressive, I'm a progressive. You're a progressive. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. So I don't even need to go into moderate then. Meanwhile, former Florida governor in 2016 candidate Jeb Bush said this weekend that Republicans ought to be given a choice, suggesting someone needs to launch a primary challenge to President Trump. He named Maryland Governor Larry Hogan as a possible option. Hogan told, told us a few weeks ago he isn't ruling it out. Margaret. Ed, Ed, thank you. More on 2020 when we come back.